he, this decedent was found in 1984 in a local park. He had no identification on him at all. So the medical examiner's office back then worked feverishly to try to identify him using all the resources available in 1984. Of course, DNA was not one of those resources. Uh, and they were not able to do an ID. So he has remained an unidentified person uh, for 35 years. We had the decedent's fingerprints. He was fingerprinted when he was recovered in 1984. But he was, as a, when he was alive, his fingerprints were never entered into APHIS, into the fingerprint data system. So we needed something that would hold his fingerprints. If this was, in fact, Mark Ashland, we needed Mark Ashland's fingerprints. So I asked the family if they had any letters that he had sent to them. And the sister, the decedent's sister, Mark's sister, had kept a letter that he sent in 1981. So that letter was 39 years old. And she sent that letter to me, and I submitted it to the King County APHIS latent print unit in the hopes, however far-reaching, that we might get the decedent's fingerprints off that letter. And the incredible work in King County APHIS, those incredible workers were able to lift two very faint latent prints off that letter. 39 years later, they lifted prints. And then their team of experts compared it to the print card that was taken on our unidentified in 1984 and were able to match one of those prints. And that provided us with the positive ID of Mark Ashland. 